Bonjour, comment ça va? Moi, ça va bien, merci. Today, I'm going to talk to you about a part of French grammar that seems to be pretty tricky for a lot of people. People who are sort of beginners, but they're trying to move past that, really need to start using pronouns. So when I say pronouns, does it scare you? Because most of my students say, oh yeah, I really need to know how to use pronouns. Today I'm going to start with the ones that I think are the simplest and probably some of the most useful, even though all pronouns you really need to know how to use them eventually. I'm going to start talking to you today about direct object pronouns. So basically this is going to enable you to say something uh, in response to a question like, have you seen Jennifer? Yes, I've seen Jennifer. Where was Jennifer when you saw Jennifer? Jennifer was sitting in her apartment, so we don't want to replace, we don't want to say Jennifer, Jennifer, Jennifer all the time. So what we need is a direct object pronoun. You see? So direct object pronoun, even some of the brightest people I've worked with, which have been a lot of super, super smart people, when it comes down to grammar, they just, uh, you know, they say, all right, Jennifer, you just have to tell me, how do I, how do I determine what is a direct object? How do I know I need a direct object pronoun and not an indirect object pronoun? Well, all of those are grammatical terms that are not so important as long as you know what it is you need to replace with which kind of pronoun. All right, so if I start talking about direct object pronouns, here's how you identify a direct object, just in English. When you say a sentence, first thing you need to do is identify the verb. So, for example, I see Jennifer. Well, who do you see? You see Jennifer. So Jennifer is the direct object. It answers the question, who? A direct object can also answer the question, what? For example, I'm watching TV. What are you watching? TV. So there you go. Direct object is the receiver of the action of the verb, if you want to think of it that way. Or if it's easier, you can just think of it in terms of it answers the question, who or what? Voila. All right. So let me give you some examples of how to use direct object pronouns in French. The three most common direct object pronouns in French are le, la, and les. So you also know these as definite articles, right? They're the ones that come before the noun, and they tell you if the noun is masculine, if it's feminine, or if it's plural. Le, la, les. If you have a sentence like, je vois Jennifer, I see Jennifer, you know that Jennifer is the direct object. In this case, there's no noun marker in front of Jennifer because it's a proper noun. It's my name. But you know that Jennifer is feminine. So you're going to replace Jennifer with the direct object pronoun la. If you have something like, je regarde la télévision. I'm watching the television. You know that television is feminine and it's singular. It helps in some situations because you have the, de the definite article la right in front of the noun when it's a thing. So you remember that television is singular, it's feminine, so you're going to replace it with the direct object pronoun la. Sometimes you have a plural direct object. For example, it can be people, it can be things, whatever. You say, um, for example, je vois Jennifer et Marc. I see Jennifer and Marc. There you have two people, so you're going to replace it, and you want to say, I see them. You're going to replace it with the pronoun les, L-E-S. Got it? So now, where do you put those direct object pronouns in the sentence? If you're replacing the direct object with a pronoun, Sent uh, placement in the sentence is really, really crucial to communication, to making yourself understood, because if you put it in the wrong spot, it's just not going to sound right. So if you have something like je vois Jennifer, we know you're going to use la to replace Jennifer. What you do with the la, just in a present tense sentence, like je vois Jennifer, you're going to take the la, the direct object pronoun, and put it right in front of the verb. So you say je la vois. And there you have it. It means, I see her. Je regarde la télévision. 
replace la télévision with la, je, la, regarde. I'm watching it. Je vois Jennifer et Marc. Replace Jennifer et Marc with les, L-E-S. Je les vois. I see them. Does that make good sense? So if we're just beginning to talk about pronouns, here's something that's going to make life easier for you in the long run. If you just remember, okay, I'm going to have to learn and just memorize where to put these pronouns in the sentence. For example, I just told you in a present tense sentence, you have to put the direct object pronoun right before the verb. All pronouns are going to work the same way, and there will be more pronouns that you're going to have to learn. But they all work the same way as far as placement goes. Always right before the verb when you have a simple sentence in the present tense. What if you have a situation where you have two verbs in a sentence? So your first verb is going to be the conjugated one, and the second one is going to be in the infinitive form. For example, instead of a sentence like je vois Jennifer, what if you have something where you're using that future proche, the aller plus infinitive construction, and you want to say je vais voir Jennifer. I am going to see Jennifer. So you have the going to, the, that's your conjugated verb, and to see now is in the infinitive form or the non-conjugated form, voir. You're still going to replace Jennifer with the direct object pronoun la, but this time, since you have two verbs in the sentence, you're going to put the la right before the infinitive. So it's going to look like this. Je vais la voir. That works any time you have an infinitive in the sentence. Remember, infinitive is just the non-conjugated form of the verb. Anytime you have an infinitive in the sentence, your pronoun comes right before it. It works the same way for any kind of pronoun you're working with in French. If you have a sentence like je vois Jennifer, but instead it's negative, je ne vois pas Jennifer. You want to be careful when you're replacing Jennifer with the direct object pronoun, la, in this case. Your la is still going to come right before the verb, but think of the verb and the pronoun that comes before it as being inseparable. There's nothing can come between them, and that includes a ne and a pa, or any other kind of negation. You know, you have different kinds of negative expressions. So with negation, it would look like this. Je ne la vois pas. Hmm? And if you have one of those sentences with two verbs, and the second one's an infinitive, and it's negative, your pronoun is still going to come right before the infinitive. So you have a sentence like je vais voir Jennifer with the pronoun je vais la voir. With negation, just don't get yourself confused. It's still the first verb or the conjugated verb that you're negating. So you'll say, je ne vais pas la voir. Does that make sense? I hope so. So if you want a little bit of a more in-depth lesson and some more written examples for direct object pronouns, come over to my blog, which is learn Jennifer, uh, learnfrenchwithjennifer.com, and you can, you can check it out there. I'll put a link to it in the, in the description below. Also, if you've enjoyed this lesson, then be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you're looking for a French teacher like me who will explain things to you in such a way that it's easy to understand, I do give lessons on Skype, so no matter where you are in the world, I can teach you French. You can just go visit my website, which is learnenglishandfrench.com. And I hope that you will stop by. Leave me a message, a comment, if you have any questions at all about direct object pronouns, how they work. I'll be happy to help you. Okay, merci et à bientôt. Au revoir.